Today I'm gonna to walk you step by step through a unique way to control your Gmail using what's known as infinite email addresses. Welcome to All Things Secured. My name is Josh. This is Tech Tip Tuesday, a segment of this channel where I walk you step by step through the most important things that you should be doing in five minutes or less to increase your privacy and security. You know, there's something that a lot of people don't realize about their Gmail address, and that's that you have a couple ways that you can modify your address without actually having to create multiple addresses. So let's say that you have the email address John Doe at gmail.com. You have the ability to put in a period anywhere before the at sign, and it will still be delivered to your inbox. So you could have it john.doe at gmail.com and it would still be delivered to John Doe at gmail.com. You could have j.ondo at gmail.com and that would also get delivered. Now, another way that you can do it is using the plus sign. If you add the plus sign right before the at sign and any other word, that email will also get delivered to your inbox. So for example, John Doe plus work at gmail.com also gets delivered. John Doe plus newsletter at gmail.com would get delivered to your inbox. All of these are ways that you can create infinite email addresses and still have it delivered to your inbox. But why would you wanna do that? Well, there are a couple different reasons. Let's say that you wanna sign up for a newsletter, but you wanna make sure that you put that in a specific folder or that that gets delivered to a certain place. What I can do is I can add that particular email address, John Doe plus newsletter at gmail.com and then create a filter within Gmail. So I would go in and tell Gmail that if any email from John Doe plus newsletter at gmail.com comes in, I'm gonna have it skip the inbox, I'm going to add it a particular label to it, and then I'm gonna move it to this folder. And so that any time that email comes in, that automatically happens and I don't have to do anything with it. You could use this to create a to-do list. Let's say that any time I wanted to remember to do something, I could email John Doe plus to do at gmail.com and then create a, a, a rule within Gmail to send that to a particular folder so that I remember to do that on my to-do list. Now, if you really, really wanna get technical about it, you can use something known as if this then that to take something that is emailed in and turn it into let's say something on your actual to-do list app if you have let's say I don't like having my emails come as a as a notification on my phone it's just a way for me to remove a lot of the distractions but there are times when I want specific VIP people to always be able to access and get at a hold of me so what I can do is I can create a specific email for them John Doe plus VIP at gmail.com and then create a rule where anytime somebody from that email address emails me, I get a text message saying that somebody emailed me from that address. These are just a few of the many ways that you can use this unlimited emails feature to control your Gmail inbox and take control instead of allowing Google and Gmail to decide what goes in your promotions, what goes in your social, and what goes into your inbox tab. If you have any other questions, you can leave them in the comments below. I've got other great Tech Tuesday tips here in this playlist that you see here. If this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching.